Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a brief overview of my week one experience at Hack Reactor. Um, I technically finished week one on Thursday of last week due to the holiday weekend. Uh, technically there's like a few day gap in the, uh, the schedule because of that. So technically we got like an extra two days um, to work on the current sprint that we're on. But I'm going to start more so at the beginning. So week one started on Monday, June 29th. We really just kind of hit the ground running right from the start. Uh, crazy long days, a lot of lectures, a lot of coding exercises, um, assessments, things of that nature. I would say that uh, it was definitely on the high end of, um, you know, in intensity for uh, what, I, what I expected. I did expect the program to be very intense. It's one thing to say, um, you know, that you're ready for something, but it's another to dive into that and experience it firsthand. So, you know, if you tell yourself like, oh yeah, like I'm totally ready for Code Bootcamp. Well, you might be ready, but are you ready for like the crazy long hours that come with it? Um, on week one alone, you know, I averaged uh, anywhere from 14 to 15 hours a day. Um, like roughly, you know, 10 a.m. to midnight in in my time zone. Technically, uh, I'm part of the Denver cohort, so I'm operating on Colorado's time zone. But where I live, you know, I was working from 10 a.m. until you know midnight or later, um, pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, um, due to the holiday weekend. But you know, that's going to continue for the next you know 11 weeks or so. I'm not going to dive too much into the actual material itself. Hacker Reactor is fantastic uh so far but you know there's a lot of proprietary content and things like that and you know their code repos and stuff and i'm i'm not gonna you know put that material out there um and you know damage damage the school and things like that so but i will i will say that uh week one uh had a lot of review uh kind of i mean review but also a lot of new things um a lot of the the code exercises were based on topics that were talked about in pre-course and those, to those topics have been kind of elaborated on, uh, as well as some more advanced coding exercises on those topics. And I think this is really good because this really kind of drives home the importance of those, those foundational skills and why they're so important. Um, one of the other things that I can definitely say that I enjoyed about this experience so far is uh, the emphasis on pair programming. This is one of the things that I I can almost guarantee that um, while self-teaching, I would have never probably had the chance to experience this or have even really thought about trying it. Um, but the ability to to share the same code editor with someone else using uh, something like uh, Live Share, the extension and VS Code, using this and being able to like partner with somebody and you know voice video chat on like Discord and things like that. Um, that that social experience that that comes with being able to do that is like an entirely different learning experience and that's something that like I said I never I never probably would have got that experience on my own um, and it's it's very important because like those are there's more to coding than just knowing how to code like it's it's knowing how to work as part of a team and and those are aspects that are really hard to get when you're learning on your own you know, because there's, there, sure, there's, you know, hundreds of thousands of people out there probably learning on their own, but the odds of like, hey, let me connect with you and we can build this project together. That's probably pretty low. I mean, I know I never did it and I don't think that I know very many people, if any, who have ever, you know, gone that route on their own and like tried to do a project with a friend or something like that. But if you can, I would highly suggest it because that is a valuable learning experience. Um, and I really do appreciate that, you know, that's one of the things that Hack Reactor likes to focus on is how important that emphasis of teamwork really is. So, like I said, uh, we kind of got this extra couple of days um, due to the holiday weekend. Happy 4th, everybody. But tomorrow is Monday and tomorrow is back on the grind. Uh, week two starts tomorrow and I'm definitely ready for it. I'm ready to uh, get back into those lectures and learn. Uh, some amazing new topics from the fantastic instructors and staff of Hack Reactor. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just really excited to, uh, you know, keep keep the ball rolling with this process. And, uh, you know, I just look forward to to all the, the fantastic learning experiences that are still to come because I'm still so early in this program. And uh, I know that there's like 
you know, looking at the schedule, I know that there's just so many exciting topics coming up and I can't wait to get started on them. So uh, again, guys, that really wraps it up for today's video. I really just wanted to kind of give an overview of my week one experience so far. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button to help more people find my great content um, or at least great in my opinion, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you like to my if you like my other content, please hit the subscribe button uh, so you get notified when I post new content. But uh, other than that, happy 4th of July, guys. Have a great weekend and have a great week.